Do we want to discuss the calendar then first? We could do that. I mean, we have time, we right? Have it's any... it's a it's seven thirty three, so we could open our meeting. And, and I could call home and find out exactly what. Right? It, it's either the seventh, the sixth, or the seventh. Oh, uh, yeah. See, the meeting would be on the seventh, the February meeting. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. So we'll count on you not being there anyway for the for the seventh. So yeah. let's figure out what works. Um, uh, let me open this up. So we're not meeting December twentieth. I could find. I can call and find out. We're not. Because no. I'll be in the air. Right, yeah. and we don't have anything that's coming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Then January third, we have our meeting. Yep. Everyone expect to be around January third. Yep. Okay, great. Me and too. then the seventeenth. The seventeenth, I will be away. Yeah. And. Did someone else say they were going to be like, just me? Just you. Okay. So the set, so January has five weeks. Do we want to just meet the 24th? Because then we would have another two weeks before our next meeting in February. Oh, I except said, that oh. Lauren's not going to be there for that meeting. I mean, we could add another meeting to January. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, you could, you could either, I mean, you could do the 17th if we had something important come up and then do the 31st or just. We could do the 17th, I just wouldn't be here, and so it would be, might be tricky to do it hybrid. We might just want to do an in-person meeting if we do that, only yeah. because... Yeah, it's you without you here. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would, I would prefer because she looks things over. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, she looks at all this. You'd rather, you'd rather have her look at stuff. I would rather So have then, it, and if we did it on the 24th, you're only back a day then, right? Only out the 16th and uh, sorry the 17th and the 18th. The 16th is the holiday, Hello. so I'm only. What out is the dates days. of our cruise? I'm trying. We're trying so to I'm schedule back meetings. In on the 19th, January. Okay. It, I mean, does it does it interfere with anybody else? On Remember, we used to have the con the well, conservation I can, issue. I can do a okay. That's what I'm trying I'm to back do right on now, what? and I can put it out there and, and just say, okay, these are the meetings I have. Does anyone within have within meetings? town hall? Because ComCom doesn't meet well, it here anymore. Okay. Oh, okay. That's 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 six to eighteen. All right. That's what I told them. So, so yeah, what, well, let's oh, schedule yeah, the twenty fourth then. All right. Don't schedule the seventeenth. Schedule the twenty fourth. Okay. Let's do the twenty fourth. Yeah. So that that's yeah. I'd, I'd be gone the sixth to the eighteenth. So okay. So you're going. You you'll miss that meeting, but yeah. I'll be here. So on the seventh. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to get you know two other people. And hopefully we won't have a. That's, yeah, we have to make. Well, that's why I want to put this out there. So no, no, I understand. Yeah. I understand. So yeah, right. let's let's hold the meeting for the seventh. Okay. And then the third week, I don't have a calendar, so I'll be. That's, that's school vacation. That's school vacation. Yeah, so I'll be gone, and, be and Chris, you'll still be gone. Yep, that's yeah. the week of the nineteenth, right? What if we met on the twenty-eighth instead? Of what? Of February. You'll be instead back. The, I'll be gone, but that's okay. Oh, no, you'll still be. Yeah, that's true. D David, are you going to be around on the 28th of February, as far as you know, right? Okay. okay. So he's around. Let's pencil those in then. Okay. Um, and okay. I'll check on the return date it's for sure. Yeah. yeah, I will be around, Chris, I believe. Okay. 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 We were reading your lips. <laughs> um, and then for March. Well, I was going to say also, if you had to, you could do a 31st of January meeting and, and um, get by that 7th meeting. If we had to, like, yeah, if the mayor... You could double up right there. You could do that, the 24th and the 31st. Yeah. Then you I mean, if you had something, because if you don't have anything pressing, if, if you don't have anything pressing, we could even ba bail on one of those. Yeah, meetings. I just cancel Yeah. Them. I would do the middle of the month, I just cancel. So you want, I'll schedule the room for the 24th and the 31st, and then what we get. Yeah. Yeah, and then cancel, cancel the thirty first. All right. Okay. And, then and, and we might cancel. I mean, we could cancel the seventh too if there's nothing. Well, really I was gonna say if we if we if, if it's something that we could get done by the thirty first, then we wouldn't need the seventh. Right. That's right. true. Maybe right. we should schedule the room for that night anyway. Otherwise, there could be like a whole month in yeah. between. So let's yeah. schedule the room. When yeah. we have for the three weeks in a row. Yeah. 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 I know we're not gonna have three meetings in a row, but. Yeah. No, I understand. Just, yeah. No, no, no. That, that makes no. That makes sense. Okay. We've had to do it in the past, well, a long time. A ago. long time ago. Well, we were really <laughs> we were long really time ago. When we used to have one o'clock. We were meeting every single week for a while. Yeah, and, do, and meetings went meetings to one in the workshop. morning. Three meetings in a workshop. Yeah, and the meetings went to one in the morning. The old days, huh? Yeah, yeah. the old days. None okay. of the youngsters know that. Debbie does though. Okay, so tentative meetings. You remember those, don't you, Deb? I remember those four or five. 
Like yeah. <laughs> Poor Debbie's writing away. She's on her fifth notebook. And <laughs> so let's put in the seventh for now, and then the twenty-eighth. The twenty-eighth. Okay. And then our, is March back to normal, or? Well, March seventh. I don't. I'm, I got to make sure when I'm coming back. Yeah, okay. March you may be. I might be back on March. I might be back on March sixth. I don't know when we're leaving New York. If we leave on on Monday morning, I'm going to be back. For okay. Tuesday well, meeting. Let us know about I'll March. I'll probably be back at work on Tuesday. <laughs> let us know about March. Um, yeah. We know we'll at least be back to our normal schedule on the 21st. Okay. So we'll decide about the 7th. Yeah, as long as I go up to And then, of course, there's snow. <laughs> oh, well, right. and that's Warren, and, you know. <laughs> You're going to handle that. <laughs> but we, I, we've known Warren to pull in here with the front end loader <laughs> and stop in for a quick meeting, and then off he goes. <laughs> Those times certain when we need full votes. <laughs> yep. put plows on today. Did you call in from a plow last year one day? You did, I'm, didn't you? Didn't you call in to yeah, a meeting yeah, last yeah. year from, from a plow? Yeah, there, there were some years that I've lived in that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but like you called into the meeting. Yes, like yeah. From your, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, a real bad storm, but yeah, you did call in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, Jeremiah says he's trying to get in. Well, let him in. I did not even know. Called him not too long ago when you were doing fireworks. Yep, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Martha's Vineyard, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think you were in a truck. <laughs> yeah. Like, I gotta go now. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I was. All right, so. I've done the best I can to make it a meeting. <laughs> you do. He does. 31 years. The only time I don't make a meeting is when I'm sick. I'm happy that you don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean exactly? <laughs> well, I was. I did yeah. one after. Let's just say, Debbie, everybody here has had COVID. Debbie has not. Oh, I know. Felt, so. Oh, really? Yeah. So all of you can just. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Dominic actually had it a few weeks ago. Yeah, you were telling me, and yeah. you got it, you, and you didn't get it. I didn't get it. So no, you got you, you but you've got your shots, right? I, well, I got the boot. Yeah, I got the shots. And no, the booster. I didn't get it. I got when I got yeah. it. I didn't get it. She didn't get it. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Nobody got it when I got sick. And I mean... Selective little bugger, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Well, I think, I think what happened was, is Jane had the Pfizer shots and the Moderna boosters. That's what I did. And I had all Moderna. Oh, I had all so Pfizer. there was something that maybe was missing in there that was mm -hmm. protecting Jane and not yeah, me. Maybe. Even though it was the original shots, you know, so it was a long time ago. I had all Pfizer. Yeah, and that's another thing. My wife had all Moderna. Yeah, so. Oh, so there you go. Right. It's, it's, you know, yeah. it's well, crazy. Too, so. And I'm going to get my booster on, my, my, the new booster on Thursday. Yeah, I've already had that. Me too. But I had, I, <laughs> when did you have it? After your, well, you had. No, I had it about, uh, about a month ago. I went into to the VA and they. Both sides, flu shot. Flu on one. Well, that's what I'm doing Thursday too. I'm doing flu in and Moderna. And you have CBAs. All right. And I know you wanted me to give a little Shailene update. All right. This one. So we want to do minutes. Sure. Oh, is we have no run. David, you want to unmute? So uh, and is did you say? Uh, is he in? Yeah, he's here. Okay. Yeah, you want me to? Uh, I think Warren, Warren, you want to read him? Warren, Warren's got to move him. I just wanted to make sure we could hear you. You don't have to worry about turning yourself on and off. Because you are basically, you and Jeremiah are the only ones on Zoom, and Phil's the only one in the room, other than the four of us. Well, i got to log back into this share file. Oh, you want to see mine? Oh, well, David me. can move. David, do you have the minutes in well, front of you? It, it'll be a little patient. I'll, uh... yeah, I, have, I have the minutes and I have the dates if you want me to just read. Hey, go ahead. Why don't you do it when Warren logs in? Okay. Mr. Hayden, if it pleases the chair, I move that the Community Planning Commission approve the meeting minutes dated November 1st, 2022. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second it. I have a motion. And a second by Mr. Pierce. 
Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Oh, you got a roll call. Uh, yeah, aye. Then, uh, aye. Aye. And a roll call. Jeremiah. Aye. David. Aye. Warren. Aye. Myself, aye. Four in favor, and Ryan is absent at the moment. Somebody want to do the okay, next? And, uh, Mr. Chairman, I move, move that, that we approve the, the minutes of Commission approved the meeting minutes. Okay. It is November 15, okay. 2022. I have, a I have a motion and a second by Mr. Pierce. Is there any discussion? Hearing then, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Roll. Roll. And a roll call vote. Jeremiah. Aye. David. Aye. Aye. Mr. Pierce, aye. Mr. Hayden is aye. And Ryan is absent. All right, one more. No, that's it. That's it? Okay. Yeah. VBAs we got, Bill. Yeah. Danielle, you want to do those quick? Um, yeah, sure. That's my folder. Okay. Let's see, um, only one of them is really... Want me to read this, Chris? Sure, go ahead. Oh, sure, sorry. Uh, continued virtual, virtual public hearing will be held by teleconference on Thursday, January 12, 2023, at 7 p.m. on the petition of Jeffrey Gannon, 3 Linwood Ave, North Reading, Mass, parcel 97, for a special permit to raise chickens. The petitioner also requests a variant for the setback of the chicken coop. So this, this um, I read this whole thing, it, it's fairly well done out, and I also like the fact that there's actually a, a picture showing where everything will go in relation to uh, the other items on the, on the thing, so. Um, yeah, it is interesting. But, you know, well, it gives you, you know, I mean, it's a much better representation than you usually get. Yeah, right? no, 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 it's I mean, that's happen. great. So, I mean, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, we would recommend no roosters. I mean, I think that's a given. Yeah, that's a given right now, I think. And, uh, but it looks, uh... Is the, the only thing, you know, he's 10 foot from the, from the line. Well, the, the, for his chicken coop. Yeah. He's not 10 feet from the line. He's only 4 <coughs> feet from the line. Well, that's what I mean. He's, he's closer than 10 feet from the yeah, line. Yeah, he's closer than 10 Otherwise feet. Otherwise, he would be, you know, that's just an accessibility. So that's, but that's a, in other words, I, I don't know if the 10 foot thing is, is a, is, um, I think it's a building code thing, not necessarily uh, a, a chicken, code? you know, having to do with the fact that it's chickens, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, no, it's a building there code is a fa an existing fence there, and so I would probably um, just say neighbors. You know, yeah, I have no problem with neighbors, no roosters. Yeah, well. I, I would just reiterate the no rooster yeah. thing, because we've said that every time. As long as there are no issues with neighbors, but, you know, and of course, one would hope that they are on the uh, uh, east side. Yeah. So the west wind blows into the yard, not to the neighbor's yard. So. <laughs> Occasionally it's going to blow that way. Hopefully they'll be nice and uh, contribute some eggs to the. It's just an observation. <laughs> yeah. We used to go up to Maine and they used to have a big, huge pond. Yeah. Oh yeah, they smell. They're really big ones. Oh. When you get a lot of them together, they 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 ain't no fun. Oh I, I think the key to it, the, the key to, to raise chickens like this, and these probably only got to have a few, but you know, it's, it's mostly maintenance of the maintenance of the coop. And, yeah, uh, cleaning the coop and, and making sure the yards are clean. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's what my recommendation would be, Mr. Chairman. So like that. I agree with it. Okay. David, any recommendation? Uh. I, I agree with you both. I, I, I don't have a problem with it. I do appreciate there's a lot more detail than a typical VBA application, so that's really much appreciated. And uh, but you know, big fan of chickens and same kind of same uh, warnings there, neighbors, roosters, all that stuff. But you know, it looks fine to me. All right, Jeremiah. Yeah, agreed. I'm pro chicken. Like okay. a, a time, so. Pro chicken, anti rooster. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I even like roosters, but you know, I think I gotta go with the, the flow here. Not good again. 
They want them waking up that newborn baby, right? Oh, yeah. I oh, already up. <laughs> Jeremiah's already up. <laughs> All right, we got... Uh, Can we read this one, too? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Yeah, okay. The virtual public hearing will be held on Thursday, January 12th, 2023, at 7 p.m. on the petition of Jason Salter, 3 Shenandoah North Reading, 3 Shenandoah, Shenandoah Drive, is it? Anyway, North Yeah, Reading, I think it's Drive. I think it is. North Reading, Mass, Parcel 4, uh, Map 4, Parcel 115, for a home occupation special permit for his handyman business per article 200-42 North Reading Zoning Bylaws. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. Um, and my quick comment on this one would just be that that sounds like a pretty standard situation. Yeah, he just uh, wants to get just, a check. And I would just reference the bylaw. Yeah. I'm sorry, it sounds like a what situation? Well, that sounds like a standard application. I just referenced the bylaw of the 300 square feet. Within inside the building. Because Dedicated. obviously if, if they're home handyman, they're not going to bring somebody's home back to their home. So. <laughs> no, but he could get... The problem with those guys is they grow. Well, maybe, but again... I never grew that, my business, that's so... That's why I would reference the bylaw, because the bylaw right. law references the right. square footage, the number of vehicles, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. David, any problem with that? I'm in agreement, but same thing, you know, it's storage of materials and yep. commercial vehicles, stuff like that, the typical stuff the ZBA deals with. Okay. That's all. Great. Jeremiah? Yep, same thing. Same thing. Great. Mm -hmm. All righty. So, uh, it's not 8 o'clock yet. I'll read slow next really time. Yeah, go ahead. Why don't you? Uh... Yeah. So, um, well, Chris and I had spoken a little bit just to uh, about some updates for Shay Lane, and he just wanted me to give a quick update. Um, it, so, there's nothing taking place right now that's an issue with the subdivision itself. Everything is in compliance with the subdivision. The individual lot, though, lot nine, um, has started to put in the pickleball court that had been mentioned last year. Um, and the Board of Health is actually taking some enforcement action now because of the quite substantial changes in grading that they have done um, and yeah. to make sure that there's no negative impact to the septic system. So right now, I mean, certainly there are grading changes that will probably, you know, have negative impacts as far as, you know, stormwater, but potentially worse than that because it could be affecting the septic system. So the Board of Health is... is taking action now on that. Um, so I've been copied on some correspondence just back and forth. Um, I know town council is involved, um, so um, I just wanted to update you on that. There's nothing really that we, I think, can or need to yeah, do so The big thing is the, the big impervious area that it's, I, Yes, of course. And the there's problem no, is, yeah. problem there's no is, storage for it. Well, that's not, no, the problem is that it's on a private lot at this point. Right, and the, and the, and so the only people you know, in order, in, you know, in other words, in order to, to object to it, you'd have to show harm, and the harm would have to be, um, you know, as a result of the work that they did. Right, and, and so that that would have to be brought by a neighbor, or somebody else. In the case of the board of health, if, if they figure it's harming the septic system, that's his door in. Right, you know, because exactly. he, he's in charge of public health, and if it, which it creates which a situation that could create a health situation then he certainly has the right to get involved right. which is so. and he's doing the right they're doing the right thing yeah yeah they're doing right we're our hands are tied because that's been a, yeah that's it's been a, a private that's been it's a, a difficult private situation lot. from day one <laughs> so. basketball court same thing swimming pool so they do hold some water i'm sorry the rain the rain falls in a swimming pool the swimming pool does hold that water if it's not already too full <laughs> Okay, well that was it for Shailene. Um, as far as any other updates, I just wanted to let you know the MBTA Communities Action Plan has been submitted, the draft that we discussed last time, so yep. we are right now in compliance. Um, in the meantime, over the past week, I would say, um, the state has actually released their compliance tool that we're supposed to use to enter in all of our information and <coughs> excuse me, determine whether we're <coughs> Actually, compliant. It's going to take us some months to get through the actual tool, and we may need some technical assistance. We may need some consulting help. I have to meet with our, you know, GIS coordinator, and I have to meet with, um, you know, whoever else may be involved in this. It's going to be a long process, and I don't expect us to have it finished within a few months. But it's not due until. I mean, we've got just, you know, a year to put it together. I have a question on the. <coughs> I know. I know that Sorry. our failure to do this could have would have would affect. 
our, our failure to comply in whatever way we can would affect our ability to get um, grants and so forth. Um, but do we have any grants in process that would be endangered? Um, the ones that would be in danger if we didn't comply would be uh, probably MassWorks, which, thank you. Um, we're, we've got MassWorks funding at different stages right now. We've got two awards that have already been made with um, work already completed, so that one would be fine, but then there's a second MassWorks award related to the design of uh, sewer, which is in the process of actually being awarded. So we definitely want to stay in compliance during that period. We don't actually have the money yet. And then looking to next year or possibly the year after, it's possible we could be asking for another. Um, and then, I mean, there would be other grants that possibly we would want Housing to apply grants for. Housing grants are, are very effective, I think. I'm sorry? Housing money is very effective. Yeah. If, if you all have the Globe, there was like an article in Sunday's paper about it. In Sunday school? Uh huh. Some larger town is being affected big time. They have uh, they have housing, affordable housing, and they're going to lose like ninety thousand dollars or something because they are not in compliance. I didn't see which town. Did you see which town it was? I'll look it up. I haven't seen it. It's on one twenty. It's a big. It's a big town, like Waltham or I'm not sure Watertown maybe something. Something pretty big. Saw this is not in compliance. Oh, Woburn is losing their housing authority money this year. Oh, that was the other thing we could have housing authority money. So for. I'm going to see because of that article. I think there's going to be a little more pushback on the the um, so state to the state to, to give some a variance. Right to do on. something different. I mean these these places, they have a housing authority because they have affordable housing and they're losing money to take care of their affordable housing. You know, it's interesting. It's kind of silly. The actual communities were supposed to be the ones penalized for not complying. The housing authority is separate from the municipal government. So how are they punishing housing authority? I mean, it doesn't actually. They, can't, they get money from the state. Yeah. It's and they get money from the towns. It's the casino gaming money. Yeah. Which nobody mentioned is a big funding source of housing authorities. It wasn't mentioned in any And they're taking place. that money away. So that happened to Uber, and that's been a huge issue. I, that probably is what the article is about. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't see. I didn't read the. I, I read like most of it. I didn't read the whole thing. Uh, but we're in compliance for now. We're safe at least for a year, actually. I was gonna say a year because they just came out with a tool, and if it takes that long to to use learn to use a tool. Um, yeah, but our actual action plan isn't due for another year. So I mean, our action plan is due. It's been submitted. The um, actual. Action. Finishing the action isn't yeah. isn't another right. year. So. Um, so okay, so right. we're okay with that for now. Um, for the ADUs, I have edits from the last discussion we had. I'll make those um, edits to our draft bylaw, and if you'd like, I can put it on the agenda either for January third or the next January meeting. But I can have that ready. I'll make sure to vet it first with Jerry before. Yeah, go go through Jerry first. Yeah, make sure he's okay with all those changes, and then you can send it to us. So we can just read it over at least, okay. so we're familiar with it. Um, I, and, and then I think after we look at it and have another say so in it, we've got to send it off to the select board. I think it's the next place to go with yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe schedule a meeting together. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, after after the March. <laughs> we're not gonna be around. <laughs> I'm not gonna be around. That's true. That's true. Too. That's okay because we were gonna be targeting October, not June. Yeah. Anyway. So right, we, right. we do have time, and we'll probably want to have some public discussions, you know, in yeah. addition to the meetings. Um, and I think that's the major. Oh, we already talked schedules. Um, oh, I did just want to mention, um, I know I haven't brought this up in a long time. Um, there was a grant-funded project looking at uh, the feasibility of using Carpenter Drive, which we had the, we did most of the work last year and had a community meeting and everything. It hasn't right. moved forward. Um, I think I'm not really sure where the select board stands on it. I don't know if they know yet where they stand on it. So um, I think the the working group that we had, I think um, at the at the time, had said, you know, this group has really done as much work as we can do without taking it to the next level. But what we what we do have is we have soil testing. We have concept plans from BCI. We have a draft RFP that can be put out whenever we're ready, whenever I guess the select board is ready to kind of try to move forward on that um, project. 
and all of it is, uh, needs to be compiled into a report to be submitted to the state um, for our grant reporting. So that's due at the end of the month, so I'm pulling that together now. I just wanted to let you know about it. I'll put in all the, the record that we had of the um, community meeting, all of the questions that were asked and is the there, comments that were given. There, is there any up, there's no updates on it. Basically what we saw is still, still uh, valid. There's, there's no updates or changes on the, on the um, on uh, you know as a result of the soil testing or as a result of the uh, because I mean we get a lot of pushback on that. Um, on which aspect of it? On um, the carbon to drive thing. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. We, we yeah, got homeowners sorry. on the other side where I I don't understand where they're going to have problem with the water. We're complaining a lot about yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I, I think it was maybe less an issue of concern about water and more about that access road, the emergency access road that they wanted to that the consultants were recommending we put through. Parsonage, the parsonage. Yeah, parcel. right. We didn't want to do that. That's why that lot was saved. Was because of the the, the timber that's well, growing yeah, on that, that lot. Yeah, you go and put a road in there. You're gonna take out 50 feet of it no, that's or more. Well, it was supposed to be like an emergency vehicle only area. Yeah, well, I think so. The fire department isn't in favor of us having one way in and one way out from Carpenter at all. So I think that's actually probably the main sticking point right now. Yeah. So. Anyway, there's obviously not a consensus on it, but we have all the materials. We have the consulting work that we paid for. We can always go ahead with an RFP when the town is ready to do it. I just wanted to let you know that it's a project that's been cooking for you know two years, and I haven't mentioned it in a long time, but I'm pulling together the report. It'll be submitted, and I'll share it with you. Then. It's quite interesting that the fire department said that because they have plenty of places that have one way in, one way out, with lots that's more right. housing, and they didn't complain about that. I mean that's a that's a road there. Carpenter is a road. It's thirty feet. It's twenty eight feet wide. It's a full road. It doesn't have to finish it. It's only in binder, but that's all we're required of them. It's got drainage and all everything else. Right. All we have to do is drive it through to the property, which is only fifty feet. And you put two driveways off of that. One going and one coming. I don't know why they have a problem with it. It's no different. No different than a lot of stuff that's on a dead end road or access to the nursing home, which is one way in and one way out. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, and, and that's well, we'd have, to, we'd have to bring them up and have them on the carpet and ask that question because that doesn't make any sense. I, I know what you mean. Um, and then if it came in and there was actually a site plan review and we were going through it, I mean, you could still approve something, I would think. Um, it could be not with their recommendation, but right. we can still approve it. Um, yeah. Anyway. So that's where it stands now. Um, oh, guess what? It's April. That's perfect. You took the right amount of time. <clears throat> Being 801, do we have a motion for that? Do we have it's a... just to continue. I know. Continuance to January 3rd at what time? January 3rd. Oh, actually, I think we do have a motion from... Um, not a motion, a letter, just from Attorney Latham. Um, so, to, yeah, they would like to continue to January 3rd. Would we like to do 8 o'clock? Yeah, I would do 8 o'clock. Okay, so it's the public hearing um, for the 146 to 140, uh, sorry, 150 Park Street site plan review um, hearing. Okay, to a time soon, certain? January 3rd. Do you have like a motion? Do you want yes. to make a motion? Make a motion, please, Mr. Fair. Okay, I, uh, um, I move that we extend the 146 to 150 Park Street um, <coughs> application until, uh, they want it extended until January 31st? No, it's, it's the moving the meeting. That's I, know, all. I know, but the, they want the, the so meeting goes from January 3rd, but they also asked for an extension for January 31st. To the but we don't have a deadline yet for that, so okay. January 31st would be making it sooner than it is currently. Right. That was, in, that was in the letter that they sent. I right. know, I know. We haven't, we, haven't op we haven't had the first public hearing on this yet, right? We have. Yeah, we oh, have. we have, yeah. that's right, but yeah, we have. it hasn't yeah. got to the point where we have a... We haven't closed the public hearing, right. so we yeah. don't have a... A stop date. So again, I, I'll just say I, I, I move that we approve the request for continuance of the 146 to 150 Park Street application until um, January 3rd, time sir, 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. I have a motion. Do I have a second? A second. Second. I have two seconds. Or third. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe three. Is that right? <coughs> 
So I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor, please say aye. Roll call. Aye. 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 In a roll call, Jeremiah. Aye. David. Aye. Warren. Aye. Myself, aye. Is Ryan? I don't see him. Okay, Ryan's not here. Ryan is absent still. So I have four in favor and one absent. Did Dave second that? Yes. Yeah. Well, it was, it was a double second, but Dave was seconding it and Jeremiah was seconding it at the same time. So we could get the unmute button fast enough. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but he was talking. I could read his lips. <laughs> so the meeting for... 146 through 150 Park Street, is that correct? Yes. It is now moved to January 3rd at 8 p.m. That's time certain. Yes. Okay. Do you want that meeting to be a hybrid meeting again? Yes. Okay, Please. <coughs> yeah, it uh, doesn't look like this COVID thing is going away. And no, they just, they just they, spiked they everything. They got a big spike as a result of the of the Thanksgiving thing. Yep. Uh, and you so they figure that thing will get magnified on Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have any college kids yet, so you're okay. I don't. I don't. My college kids are not at home again, so it doesn't matter. So My son was a college kid. He, he missed that. <laughs> so. Okay. I don't have college. She has young children. They get everything. <laughs> well, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Oh, they have been getting everything. Yeah. Yeah, they daycare drizzles. Sorry. I remember the daycare drizzles. Yeah, I, I don't have to worry about that. You don't worry about that anymore either. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it anymore, but I did for a long time. Yeah, you did. But I was a single parent. You did. Years. You were. You were. So my Jeremiah has to worry about that times two right now. <laughs> Poor guy. And yeah, I got my hand full. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next meeting is going to be January the third for us because right now we have nothing for January twentieth. December 20th. December 20th. Yes. Yeah. We don't have anything for December 20th. No. I know. That's what I just said. Oh, all right. You said January. Oh, did I say January 20th? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Just, just trying to keep you on the straight and narrow here. Sorry. <laughs> um, so uh, we'll see or talk with you guys all uh, in the new year. Okay. Thank you. And we are. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, happy holidays. Everybody. We are we are adjourned. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah, happy holidays everybody. Big